Hey, what's up, guys? It's Uni, and um, today we're going to be learning how to sync sniping clips with Twixter. Um, in my last video, I showed you guys how to sync sniping, how to sync trick shotting clips with Time Remap, and um, today we're learning how to do sniping clips. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete all my clips over here, all everything in my comp. And this is actually my second time recording this because I accidentally forgot to press record on my recording thing. So I'm going to try to get through this, but I'm still going to try to give you guys a good explanation of what's going on. So, um, basically drag your clip in and then if you don't know how, if you don't know how to put these markers on your song go ahead and go over here and drag this over or just press the asterisk key on your keyboard and if you want to delete them just right click one of them delete this marker it's pretty easy to do and yeah um the first thing we're going to want to do is right now this with my song this is the first shot i'm going to sync to and this is the off beat then this is the second shot and so on so I'm going to start syncing after the first shot. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the clip over until he shoots the first shot, which is right there. And uh, go ahead and split the layer by pressing Control shift d or Edit, Split Layer. And um, this syncing method is actually really efficient. It's the syncing method that Zant uses. So if you saw that tutorial, I'm going to be showing you basically the same thing, but with my own kind of thing, my own kind of twist on it, because every editor should have their own little way of doing things. So like, yeah. And then go ahead and split it at the next shot. And split it. And then drag it to the next beat where your shot is. And then... um. Say your next beat was over here somewhere, you would want to drag the clip so it's under that, so you don't have any black spot in your edit. But that's not going to be a problem for me, because with this song it doesn't do that. It's a pretty fast paced song. It's kind of weird because the off beats, they're kind of, um, it's not consistent, it's kind of different as if you saw, when you saw my uh, preview that you saw in the beginning of this video, I synced it to like when he aimed in, because the clip is also weird too. Not weird, but like as soon as he zooms out, he's already zo already zooming in before he rechambers a bullet. So uh, yeah, so now that you've got your first shot, um, split and then sync to the first marker where your first shot is, and then you split it in your second. We're gonna go to the third one and go ahead and split it for the third shot. It's about right there. Edit split layer or Control Shift D, and then go to that, and then go to your last shot and split it. And then you're done with that part. That's basically like the hardest part. There's nothing that's hard about this method of syncing. We're actually going to use Twixter not to blend frames, but uh, just for the graph editor because it's really nice to use. So once you've dragged it onto your clip, we are going to put our inf put our frame rate into 59.94. Unless your clip is 30 frames per second, and if it is, I feel bad for you because I hate editing those. So change this motion vectors from best to no motion vectors because we're not using motion vectors. Hold up. Sorry, my dad called and I had to talk to him for a little bit. Um, right back to where we left off, I said um, no, change motion vectors to no motion vectors and change blend right here, the frame interpretation blend, change it to nearest. So go ahead and look at those and make sure they're the same. They should be the same. We only changed a couple things in there. And then keyframe the first frame at 100 because if you keyframe it at like 200 or something, it's going to mess up the clip and then eventually your edit's not going to be as good as it can be. So keyframe at 100, the next frame over, then go to either 200 or 250. I find that both of those work good depending on the song. If it's a slower paced song, you might want to use 200, fast paced, 250. That's just my wisdom to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 200 because it's not that fast of a song. And then in the middle of your shot and then your offbeat, you're going to want to keyframe it at 50. And don't go anywhere below 50 because then your frames will start to skip and it's not going to look good. So next, um, put this one at 200, your offbeat, and then press U so you can see what you're doing. And make sure this is in the middle of your two keyframes and then go to the middle of your last two of like this shot and then the next shot and then go ahead and put it to 50 and then go a frame before the next shot and then put it at 200 again and that's basically all we're gonna need to do with keyframes 
we've synced it linearly and then we're not gonna have to make any new keyframes unless your song permits you to or you have to for some reason so just highlight them right click one of them keyframe assistant easy ease it and or you can press F9 and then um, go into your graph editor which is this little button right here and then you can see these right here you click one of them and then you can like um, edit it out and stuff but uh, we're gonna highlight all three of them and just make sure they're all facing down um, don't drag them down too much unless you want like unless you're over here and you want it to be like aiming in or you want it to be at a certain point in the edit right there but um highlight all the bot both of the bottom ones too and there you go drag them all the way out maybe up a little bit depending on what you want and see now if you're looking right here he's already aiming into the next and it just kind of like flows into the next shot and it looks really nice and if you needed to go a little bit faster, I would just change the middle one because the middle one, you won't notice it as much as if you change the first two, but it really doesn't matter. Just use your own style of editing. I don't want to tell you guys how to edit. I'm just going to show you guys some tips and tricks and you could take it and then blend it into your own little um, style. So basically what you're going to do next is just highlight all these keyframes. If, if you're happy with what it is, I would obviously spend time and RAM preview it and then watch it over and over again until you get the flow down because flow is really important in your standards of editing right now. So just press Control C on your highlighted keyframes and don't highlight these, don't highlight this, these. Um, just don't copy your settings. We're just going to have to change it because if you do that and then you paste your settings into the next one, oh, hold up, make, make sure your line is even with the next one and then press control V and then U, so you can see your keyframes and then you're just gonna have to change your settings again because if you if you just copy your settings over your after effects is not is likely to likely to crash um, change your frame rate to 59.94 or whatever it is 60 and then no motion vectors nearest and then zoom in here and then make sure this is in the middle of the first shot and then over here so just line it up basically just change it wherever you want and uh, it's all good right now alright guys that's basically all you have to do I'm not gonna do like the next one all you'd have to do is press control V on it again and then you and then change them around and then you have to see what it looks like and if it's to your liking see it's already looking nice um that's basically it and I guess I'll go ahead and show you how I did the ending. I go ahead, I just press Control V, and then I went in, went in here and changed my set settings to 59.94, and then no motion vectors nearest. And then I went ahead and I deleted these, and then I um, after the shot I went and I just put it to 50. And then I went into the graph editor and I just did like a little, I just did like a little shape like this. So then the last shot, he just gradually gets slower and then I just faded it out. If you don't know how to fade out a clip, just press T and then just keyframe it at a hundred. This little, by clicking that little stopwatch right there and then go to your end or close to the end and put it at zero. And so you can see it's fading out because that's just the opacity. And um, this is actually a really quick tutorial. It didn't take that long. I'm only at nine minutes. So um, if it helped you at all, please leave a like and a comment and a comment down below if you have anything else you need, any other tutorials you want to see. I have an edit coming out in maybe a week or so. I haven't really been having that much time to do edits. I have, have I've been having more time to do tutorials because it doesn't take as long to make a tutorial as it doesn't edit because I'm in school and um, I don't have that much time but I am working on an edit so I'll be uh, uploading that pretty soon and I'm gonna be doing another tutorial on pan and crop because you guys have been asking for that and I might do one on cinematic transitions to where it like flows into the next clip but uh, but that's basically it um, if you guys need to contact me or anything Twitter is the best way it's gonna be in the description below as well so um I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, and it's been uni, and I'm out. Peace.